Hello everyone, welcome back to another fantastic art video. In this week's video, I will be going over a different technique that I use to ink my drawings. But first, do me a huge, huge favor and hit that subscribe button and the like, and leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. I'm not sure how many parts to this Inktober series I will be making this month, so tell me down below what you want to see from me. So to start off this drawing, I figured I would show you a little bit of my transfer process. Taking my sketch from Sketch Timber in one notebook and putting it into my Inktober notebook that I made using a homemade light box, which you can do if you have a really bright light and a piece of plastic you can put on top of something or you can also use a window if you don't already have a fancy light box. And I'm only transferring the lines that are what I really want. So it's like a cleanup sketch process on a new piece of paper. And that is all I do for that. Now that I have my sketch transferred, I go back in and erase what I just drew. <laughs> I erase it lightly and I would usually use a kneaded eraser. If you don't know what that is, it's a type of eraser that will only pick up the heavy graphite. But it wasn't strong enough to erase this sketch. I made my lines too thick or put too much pressure into the paper with them so I had to use a regular eraser and just be a little bit lighter with my hand. Now for the inking I'm going in very strategically and pretty slowly and keeping the lines really light and following my sketch to the line as closely as I possibly can and I'm trying to keep my hand soft so that way the lines don't get too thick or my hand gets heavy and then the line decides to go where I don't want it to and while I'm inking each line I'm kind of planning a few seconds ahead to see, okay, where do I want this line to kind of break up a little bit? Because one of the styles that I like to ink in is actually to not complete each line in the drawing. So you'll see as I go along that I actually leave several parts of each line with just dots or a little slash instead of completing the line as a whole. There are some lines that I do complete all the way through though. That way it kind of gives this illusion that with the dots in the line conveys a little bit of movement, but the solid lines keeps it together. If anyone is wondering what pen I am using, it is a 03 micron pen for the whole drawing. So enjoy the rest of the video, uh, let me know what you want to see from me for next time, and I will see you all then. Bye!